Hi guys. Uh, what's up fam? Welcome to another full time artist vlog. What is this hype that I'm coming at you with today? Look at my babies. My babies are growing. Look at them. Are they precious? Look at all of my precious babies. Okay, well, those are just some of my babies. My other babies out we hear. Luna, come here, baby. Don't you want to say hi to the viewers? Say hi. Don't you want to say hi? <laughs> so, today, I have a lot of stuff to do. I've been putting it off all morning. I know, it's bad. I've... I've been so productive this week, though, so I think I have a little bit of leeway, right? So here's what I've been working on. Well, here's what I started yesterday. This is my secret painting that I'm making for my mom. And since I'm pre-recording this vlog, like, <clears throat> over a week ahead of time, maybe even two weeks ahead of time, it's okay. It'll be further beyond this point. So if she watches my vlog, it'll be okay. She's not getting spoiled. Okay, so let me just change my face. <laughs> I don't know if that actually went well because <laughs> I'm still filming, but I'm gonna make some art today, guys. And look how pretty the sky is. Actually, it's kind of gloomy, but I kind of like it. Look, you guys. Isn't it pretty? It's gloomy, but in a pretty way. Hi, guys. So, I came to the realization that a lot of you may not really know like my goals and my intentions with my art and things like that and I thought I would share a little bit of it with you guys today um basically I think I expressed this in a recent video but a lot of it has to do with individualism I've talked about this a lot but also when it comes to just like my immediate goals and strategies and things I'm trying to do um a lot of people ask me like oh what art have you sold lately, or have you sold any art lately, or well, how many commissions have you done, and stuff like this, and like, I think that it's coming from a good place, they're wondering how I'm doing, they're wondering what I'm up to, and how everything's going, but what they don't seem to know or realize, and that's probably my fault for them not knowing and realizing, but what they probably don't know and realize is that I'm actually building my portfolio because... I kind of, I my style has kind of grown up, not really grown up, but like my style has evolved and I've learned a lot about painting and I have continued to refine my skills and I'm at a different place now with my art and my skill set and I feel like I am at a better point and a better place in it right now and so it kind of feels like this past year, I've kind of started over. At some point in the within the past like full 12 months, my art has gone from one style to a whole other style. Maybe not completely. I still use bright colors. I still really like to use not only bright and neon colors, but pretty much all the colors of the rainbow, especially cool tone colors. And I really like pinks and blues specifically and purples. But I also like pastels, and before, I just didn't feel like I had that skill with painting people as much as I wanted to, and I started off as more of an illustrator type, more of someone who would draw rather than paint. I hated painting with a passion, and now I love painting so much. It's my favorite thing. I actually enjoy it way more than drawing these days. But I think that where the confusion comes in is a lot of people don't understand that my art... I used to be very unhappy with the work I was putting out there. And just over the past, I would say, I don't know, four or five months, maybe a little longer, maybe six months, 
I have felt a lot more happy with the work that I've been putting out. And what that means is it took me a long time to get to this point and to feel this confident in my art and what I'm actually producing. And so now that I feel more confident, not that I feel all confident and all full of joy with it, I always see flaws in my work. There's no doubt about that. But I think that I feel more confident and comfortable with what I'm making to the point that I know what direction to go into with things. So that being said, my goal is to build up a portfolio with several quality pieces that I can be proud of. And the reason for this is, is I really want to approach galleries again. I have approached them in the past, back when my work was not exactly where I wanted it to be. It's still not exactly where I want it to be, mind you, but it is so much closer than it was last year. And I'm so excited for this. Um, I'm, I'm really happy and excited with this time, and I don't want anyone to... I don't want to confuse you guys with what is going on. So when you watch these full-time artist vlogs, a lot of it is me building a brand. A lot of it is me putting my art out there for people and sharing my voice as an artist and sharing what I love to do. And so I hope that that can make sense. I hope that that can kind of tell you guys my story a little bit. So I'm still building a portfolio up. I'm still creating pieces because... I feel like there's a lot left for me to do, but do I feel like it's getting really close? I do. I feel like it's getting to be the point where I'm getting really, really close to approaching galleries again, and I am so excited. Am I going to necessarily get into these galleries that I'm approaching? Not necessarily, but it's okay. It's okay if I get rejected again. It's fine. I will just keep applying to different places, and I will keep going. And all this to say, art is a journey, and if you're ever ashamed of your art, instead of wallowing in that, be proud of what you've created because the pieces that you love later down the line wouldn't necessarily be possible if it wasn't for your process to get there. So just keep that in mind, guys, and I hope that you keep on going. And yeah, I'm going to put my glasses back on now so I can actually see. <laughs> Today is going to be a create art kind of day, and I couldn't be more excited about that. You guys, I hope you guys will come with me on this journey. I'm going to work some more on my mom's painting. I'm, I'm also going to try to finish this painting over here. I really want to finish it, but it's not really going how I want, unfortunately. Um... But I really want to finish this because I, I want to paint this girl again, but I want to be happier with the next piece because this one, I it hasn't gone the way I wanted. I don't feel like I captured her beauty at all, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to try to make this piece better and finish it up today, and then I'm going to work on my mom's piece some more. So come with me, you guys. Come with me. Oh, wow. We're really close to the fan right now. Really close.
Hi guys, so this shirt I've had for about 12 years and I'm about to turn it into a painting shirt. Now it's already been a painting shirt and it has some bleach on it as you can see. Um, that's a whole other story. But this shirt is going to become a real painting shirt. We're going to add beautiful colors to this shirt with some acrylic paint you guys. So stay tuned. My cat is mowing. <laughs> She's always mowing. Okay guys, it's done and I cannot wait till it's dry so I can wear it. I'm pretty excited. I wanted to add some colors and paint to this for a while so I'm really excited about it and I hope you guys are too. So let's get into the rest of the vlog.
the aftermath. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm going to end this vlog right here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this week's full-time arts vlog and don't forget to come back on Wednesday and watch the next episode of the Basement Renovation Vlog where we turn my basement into an art studio. I'll see you guys next time and don't forget to like and share everywhere. Bye! So before I go, I just want to shout out my patrons. They're on the screen right now, and I just want to thank them so much for supporting me. They're always so super kind and sweet, and they help me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for being patrons.